Okay, good morning or good day whenever you're hearing this message. How are you doing today? And it's another episode of the Average African Kid podcast. Welcome to Walk With Me. So, um... A lot has been happening and I got a lot of comments about the last one we did when I was walking and talking about the lead conference so I figured I would do it again so I'm walking to chapel this is a Sunday morning and probably one of the best times to record um, today is the choir's concert and the choir has been preparing itself for a while for this concert so looking forward to that but something else is on my mind this morning and it has to do with the imposter effect, the imposter syndrome. And if you don't know this, let me explain this to you in a way. You are in a place of leadership, you're in a place of authority, you're in a place where you are, let's say consequential, and you are supposed to be leading. And then all of a sudden you start feeling that you are inadequate. You hear the birds? Yeah. So you feel that you do not have what it takes to lead you feel that oh i should not be in this classroom oh these guys are too intelligent for me oh i do not fit in this scenario these guys are too good or you're like oh i shouldn't be in this job the people here are way smarter than me or or you start feeling that oh i shouldn't be with these people these guys are too good for me and what that ends up doing is that you start feeling like you never belong where you are you believe that you don't belong in the place where you have been planted and you feel have feelings of of regret shame confusion you just feel like you should not be there and you're like a fraud and that somehow you manage to game the system somehow you pass that exam that put you in this class with all these mega stars somehow you got that thousand subscribers that took you to stardom somehow you're in this room that you should not be and it is a very very serious and toxic effect for me it has been a struggle many times in my life and sometimes it still is because when i'm around people that are really good they're really successful I mean, to me, everybody's successful. And I look at myself, I'm like, oh, wow, I shouldn't be here. Let me, let me explain something simple. Um, I go into a room of musicians and everybody has been playing since they were like seven. And they have so much practice under their belts. Me that has played in a lot of gig settings, I play jazz. I play saxophone jazz and I play the Roland Aerophone. And my goal is to be the number one aerophone experts in the world um, trying to connect people with how to use wind synthesizers and i look at other successful people i look at other musicians and i look at other experts online and i'm like yeah i do not fit into this scenario i look at my friends who have been playing instruments for a while and i'm like wow these guys are so much better than me they can do a lot more improvisations they play faster than me Um, some of them have really good tones some of them they're just confident and they can play anywhere Um, some of them have huge followings online they know how to create youtube videos that can sell and i look at all these things and i'm like distraught and i'm like oh i should not be doing this i i don't think i can make it um i could go into a setting when i have like six saxophonists looking there and i'm like oh wow i do not feel like i belong in this situation in this scenario or i go into a classroom of uh, medical students and i'm like god these guys are so put together they have it so figured out how did I get here and I should not be with these guys 
those are feelings of insecurity and that is the imposter effect and I want to tell you today I guess the solution <laughs> honestly I think the solution is prayer and, and seeing yourself through the eyes of God and seeing yourself the way God sees you because the reality of things is that hey hold on sir the reality of things is that we see ourselves in a different lens than others see us in other words for ourselves we have an unrealistic standard we set we set ourselves as oh you have to be perfect for you you have to do everything at the exact right time you have to get all these pieces together you have to play every single note you have to come for every single rehearsal you have to be perfect but then for other people we make justifications oh no he was tired today so he couldn't come oh um yeah yeah it's not every day that you hit a business deal sometimes you miss but for ourselves we put ourselves on such a different standard that we end up rubbing ourselves of the gratification and the reality of just being human and give ourselves a platform where we crucify ourselves over and over again without any slack so we tell ourselves that we are just being realistic in a mean in the reality is that we are being crucial and negative this is what i just learned from a book dare to lead it says do you can you talk to someone else the way you talk to yourself for example i make a small mistake I'm like oh that was stupid ah that you know get sense i'm talking to myself now but i'm insulting myself if it was my friend that made that mistake would i tell them that same thing think about it okay so i would love to make this episode a lot longer but i'm a lot closer to my destination than i realized so i want to encourage you today this bystander effect is common to us all and it comes rooted from the fact that we do not really understand our identity in Christ. We don't really understand who we are. And we don't understand the worth God has given us. So I'm encouraging you today that one, take it easy on yourself. And two, pray and ask God, God, help me see me the way you see me. And help me be comfortable in being in my own skin. Help me grow to become someone who understands who I am and someone who is willing to accept my limitations while praying for strength to grow above them and rise to where you have called me to. Okay, so that is it for this episode. It's kind of short. I hope it's impactful. I hope you got something about this imposter effect. And as usual, I'm going to leave this running for a few seconds as I get into chapel. I just want you to hear the sounds because these guys have been working hard for the past months. So, okay, let's go. <sighs> the concert is going to be amazing. It's going to be a wonderful time. It has just been a lot of work. Perfect. Let's go. Cool. How you doing? Mm. Morning, sir. Okay, so activity is bustling, life in the chapels is high, and people are expectant for something great. Okay, let's go. Morning.